water the neglected nutrient first of all how much water knowledge do you possess by taking this short quiz we can test your water iq so let's not wait another minute on to the examination if you said eleven cups for women and thirteen to fifteen cups for men then you were right congratulations fifty to seventy percent is the correct answer and if that's what you said give yourself a pat on the back if you said two and one-third to three cups you were right way to go two cups of water is the amount found in typical foods consumed daily the correct answer was three cups how did you measure up urea is a byproduct of protein metabolism and excess protein is disposed of through this means and especially excess dietary salt urine is a key component in identifying if one is dehydrated or not the darker the hue the more fluid you need to counterbalance the dehydration pale yellow and clearly white is the optimal hue for urine a darker hue is a clear-cut sign that you aren't drinking an appropriate amount of water if it is very dark then you are dehydrated and this can be tricky because often your body won't feel dehydrated until well after the fact sick people often need more fluids to counterbalance the fluid lost from diarrhea vomiting and perspiration due to fevers it is very important to increase your fluid intake if you are a pregnant woman because it is essential for amniotic fluid production which cradles the growing baby in the amniotic sac nursing mothers also need to increase their intake of fluids because water helps produce milk in the mammary glands sports drinks are a great source of hydration because they are equipped with electrolytes which actually enhance water and carbohydrate absorption and the added flavor provides an extra incentive for people to drink more of it it is vital for the body to maintain proper fluid intake during and after prolonged exercise which is classified as anything longer than thirty minutes to prevent dehydration did you realize that by the time you are thirsty you have already lost one to two percent of body weight in fluids at four percent water loss muscles begin to weaken and this is why it is especially vital for athletes to get enough water during sporting events and for anyone exercising over thirty minutes at ten to twelve percent loss your internal temperature increases substantially causing extreme fatigue finally at twenty percent loss coma and death are likely to ensue because water intake throughout the day is so vital you may want to consider keeping some simple record or chart to note your intake amounts throughout the day and especially encourage elderly loved ones who are able to do so to do that as well since they may tend to be more forgetful sometimes caffeine and alcohol both contain substances that cause dehydration carbonation tends to cause bloating and a false sense of fullness ibs and constipation are very common among college students but why is this this is partly due to the overconsumption of soda and alcohol while not compensating with adequate water to offset the other substances water can also wonderfully enhance your appearance overall for instance it helps the texture and color of lips while dehydration causes your lips to chap and fade in color also it brightens your eyes overall while darkness and swelling are the result of dehydration 
and it improves the overall health of your eyes. Insufficient liquid may promote inflamed tear ducts. And your skin overall appears to glisten and look younger with the more water you drink. Smaller bottles of water encourage children to finish their entire bottle. Do your children drink all of their water? If not, why not play a game with them? If they complete a bottle of water, treat them with fresh, bright grapes, a piece of watermelon, some strawberries, or rosy grape tomatoes, all of which are high in water content. Also, do they drink enough water during the school day? In the hot, dry West, some schools require the children to carry water bottles to school daily to keep them hydrated. Why not consider rallying support at your child's school to promote that same essential and healthy trend there? Also, if your refrigerator has a water dispenser on the outside, consider keeping a small disposable paper cup dispenser nearby to encourage even the very youngest child to help themselves to water throughout the day. Although tap water is cheaper than bottled water, it is important to contact your water company and get a report of potential contaminants in your water. Sometimes you will find out that there are traces of fecal matter in disinfectants like chlorine, even if it appears to smell and look very clean. But, most of all, whichever method you choose, just be sure that you and your loved ones are drinking plenty of water daily. And here's to your health, life, and beauty.